Number 1. Apply your magical effects on titles. Now, if you have ever tried to apply effects on your titles directly in the timeline, we have witnessed that several times, it doesn't work. But you still need to add some of those fancy effects on your titles, and here is the most excellent way to do it. Drag down the titles that you want the effects to be applied on right into the timeline, and as you can see right here, I've already customized mine. The following step here is to right select it and then go to this option here, which is the Compound Clips. It's best for you to name it right, so that it will be easy for you to identify it every time that you want to make some corrections. Well, the very direct step right here is to go straight right on to the effects, and right here you search for the effect of your choice, and all like magic. Hi everyone, this is Filmora Mastery, and if you feel like this channel must have more subs, go ahead and subscribe as we move on to the second trick. Well, this could be the most creative way in this my whole list right here, so let me explain to you how does it work. When you edit your voiceovers in Filmora, there may be text-to-speech or human-recorded voiceovers. There is a way to enhance it using the equalizer, and if you are not using it, it's best for you to start using it now. Now, if you go on right here on the equalizer, you find out that there are presets which are inbuilt in Filmora. All these presets right here, you can choose the one that you want. But let's say you want to choose one and then make some twists around it. That very moment that you twist one setting of it, it becomes a custom preset, not the inbuilt anymore. And if it's now your custom presets, there is no way for you to save it. And that's what I want to show you how. Just like my own voiceover is the one you are listening to right now, it's just a custom preset that I use in each and every project that I make using this method that I want to show you. All right, hit apply. Now that you have this audio in your timeline, with this equalizer preset applied, you're going to right select it and then create a compound clip. It's best for me to name it right here. EQ voiceovers preset. And now the next thing you have to do right here is to go to the project media and then right select this compound clip that we have just created and then save it as compound clip custom. All right. So right now, let's say you have opened a new project here and you have a new audio right here that you still want to apply that same preset of voiceover equalizer. Go on the compound clip right here and you're going to see that compound clip being saved right here. And then right here, you have to drag it down into the timeline and then double select it to open the actual compound clip. And right here, which is the last and most important part, we have to right select it and then copy the effects or else you can use Control plus Alt plus C. Now go back to the main timeline and then paste these effects on this audio and then you are done. The same preset is going to be applied on right here. If you double select this audio and then go to the equalizer, you'll find out that there is a custom preset that is being applied right here. Let's say you have all these things in your timeline right here and you'd like to animate them all at once. The normal way of doing this thing is not easy because we have to animate the first one and keyframes the last keyframes and then animate it. And then after that, we have to copy this keyframe and then paste it on each and every one of these clips that you want this animation to appear on. Now select everything in the timeline that you'd like to apply this animation trick. All right, so after you've done that, create a compound clip. Now, just as simple as that, you're going to add a keyframe on this compound clip and then on your next keyframe, you can change the scale, the position, the rotation, and anything else as you'll be animating all things at once. Well, everyone, this is all in this episode. And if you'd like a detailed explanation of how to use the keyframing panel in Filmora, check this video out and I will meet you there. Bye.